the most interesting concepts about foreign exchange that we are going to now come across is the concept of cross currency using a vehicle currency. Now, let us understand this, you know, first what happens in a cross currency. In a cross currency, when you want to trade between two countries or two currencies, there is not a direct quote available between them. So, what happens if I want to trade between yuan, that is the Chinese currency, and rupee? So, I may not directly get a rate between yuan and rupee. So, in that condition, what should I do? I should rather find a middle currency, a vehicle currency. So, that vehicle currency probably can be a currency which is easily tradable with both. So, what I may do here, I may trade yuan with dollar and the dollar with rupee. So, I am using a middle currency in order to get a direct rate between yuan and rupee, I am channelizing it through another currency. Now, first let us understand why do we do that. The reasons are at times there is no direct quote available. No direct quote available, why? Because the countries rarely trade or even if it is available, it can so happen that there is huge illiquidity. Because of less volume, huge illiquidity. If you remember in spreads, low volume turns into higher spreads and therefore illiquidity. So, the cost may itself be too high enough for them to get it afforded. So, what would they do? They would trade with a middle currency, a vehicle currency which is very frequently traded in the respective currencies. So, what would here happen that the Chinese guy would ask the Indian guy to give dollars which then they both will respectively convert instead of you know UN rupee code. Now, first let me give an example of where this concept has actually come from. The concept basically belongs to the actual concept of you know traveling through air. Now, when you take a direct flight for example from Mumbai, this is my example wherein you know I took a flight if I just saw the rates of Mumbai to Rome. The direct flight rates from Mumbai to Rome were somewhere around 52,000 rupees. So, this was a direct quote because there were rarely flyers directly from Mumbai to Rome. So, in that particular case, what happened is that I also saw the another route. The another route was Mumbai to Abu Dhabi and Abu Dhabi to Rome. There was a layover, most of you all who must have traveled abroad, they will also find this thing is now people do not take a direct flight, but they take a layover. The layover is the common destination from where they get a connecting flight. What eventually happened that the same distance was covered through a mediator, a middle connection, a middle currency in vehicle currency I would say and the rates were 46,000. What I had to do is that I had to just get down at the middle destination and take another flight. That was simple, hardly a layover of one hour, but that saved me 66, uh, that saved me 6,000 rupees. Why? Because there were hardly people flying from Mumbai to Rome, but there were too many people flying from Mumbai to Abu Dhabi and too many people flying from Abu Dhabi to Rome. So, here we use connecting route. That connecting route perhaps now I can say is replicable in the concept of cross currency. So, when instead of this Mumbai Rome flight, what if I want a UN rupee code considering base variable format wherein the rate is of UN. Suppose if I see the UN rupee code going in the market as 12 rupees. 1 UN equals to 12 rupees, but if I see if I go to the same route through another code that is UN, dollar and dollar rupee, dollar is a vehicle currency and if I see that rate comes to 10 rupees eventually, I would rather go with this code. Why? Because dollar is more frequently traded than you know uh, they both directly traded. So, the direct flight costs me more 
then the indirect flight which is more tradable un dollar is more tradable dollar rupee is more tradable china trades more with us also china has a tendency that it accepts more of us dollar in payments it does not accept you know it is reluctant to accept other countries currency it accepts un or it accepts dollar similarly india trades more with us so dollar rupee rate will be more liquid and for china dollar un rate will be more liquid so that is where i can save money i can reduce that illiquidity cost and i can get a better rate this is the concept of cross currency that we are going to do now so let us do that with the relevant example of an importer exporter who finds that as an issue two things we are going to do here first is that we are going to calculate this into a dollar rupee code we have uh, sorry into a un rupee code we have un dollar and dollar rupee code we need to convert this into a un rupee code and we need to identify as to how much are we saving i mean how much are we saving and that is where the concept of cross currency using a vehicle currency vehicle currency is a common currency the common connection the common route through which you take another flight that is what 